The 40 watt laser cutter and engraver from Extol is now the most powerful diode laser in the world. I'm going to run you through some crazy tests in this video and give you some information from my personal experience if you are thinking about pulling the trigger on this laser. Being the nerd I am, I was excited to see the upgrades the 40 watt diode got like the built-in air assist port, which has much better heat dissipation, a quick change retaining clip for swapping out the laser modules, a new X-axis module for more stability and high-speed processing, and last but not least, a magnetic light shield. Okay, that's cool. Since I already have the 20 watt D1 Pro from Extol, the 40 watt module was easy to install. I changed out the motherboard, replaced a few components, and zip tied the wires. Kudos to Extol for making this process straightforward. I was up and running in about 30 minutes. Now, before we go any further, guys, Extol did send me this $1,000 40 watt module to review, but that doesn't change the fact that I will tell you the things I do not like about it. If you are interested in this 40 watt laser, I have a special coupon code for you at the end of the video that will save you money depending on the time frame you are watching this video. If you compare the 40 watt to the 10 and 20 watt versions, you can see how much bigger the 40 actually is. And that is because there are eight 5 watt diodes combined together to give you that full 40 watts of power. This is the first 40 watt laser module ever made, which gives us the fastest engraving times and the strongest cutting abilities of any diode laser. I originally was going to be swapping out the 20 watt and 40 watt modules to show you the differences, but there are videos out there showing that we can all agree that the 40 watt is obviously more efficient in power and speed. For all the tests we are performing, I will be using Xtools Creative Space software. Before any project, I suggest running a test file on the material you will be cutting or engraving, like I am doing now. The test file shows you where the sweet spot between the speed and power is for cutting and engraving. I will have one of these for you to download below that will work in creative space. I ran this test on a piece of three millimeter thick basswood to give me a baseline of where I should be. I can tell you now, this thing has some crazy power compared to the 10 and 20 watt diodes. This almost cut a square out at only 10% power and two millimeters a second speed. If you look at the square on the engraving side, I can put it at 70% power and 400 millimeters a second speed. This will give me a good engraving at the highest efficiency. However, if I am doing something a little more detailed, I prefer to keep it at a lower speed. I ran the same test on a piece of sheet metal and sure enough, it marked it. I tried to cut through it, but it was beyond the working parameters for the 40 watt since it was too thick. However, we did almost get through it, which is pretty impressive. For the first cutting test, I wanted to do something simple, like cutting through three millimeters thick basswood. Thirty-six seconds. This thing finished insanely fast. Wow. It's honestly no surprise, but it definitely takes the lead over the 10 and 20 watt diode lasers in this category. For the first engraving test, I grabbed a wooden coaster and as expected, it powered through it at a fast speed. There are no complaints on the engraving quality whatsoever that I am finding. I played around with a few detailed images and didn't quite dial the settings in just the way I wanted. I do feel the 10 and 20 watt versions may perform slightly better detail wise on really intricate projects simply because the power isn't so extreme. I'm used to my 20 watts, so this just may be me. However, I heard someone else mention this before as well. Now I wanted to see how well a laser engraving would turn out at a fast speed and high powered mixed with big and small designs. I bought this design off Etsy and sure enough, I engraved it upside down from the handle. After the engraving, I added some food grade wood oil to this because the wood was dry and the oil will always darken up the engravings. The left side of the design engraved deeper than the right side. This is because the density of the wood is softer and darker materials will absorb more heat. If I were to do this project over again, I would definitely slow the laser down so the right side would have etched a little deeper. I got curious and wanted to see what full power and 1% speed would do to a USA made high carbon knife blade. Now I didn't expect this to cut through because of the blade material, but it sure engraved an impressive line into it and made the metal glow from the heat. 
Pushing a diode laser to even do this is still impressive nonetheless. Now we are about to test the two by fours. Now I spent so much time doing these tests. I started at 1% speed and 100% power with the x Air Assist. I was using 36 and 37 millimeters thick two by fours to push this laser beyond the stated limits of the 20 millimeters one pass that x claims. I stopped the test because I was seeing some embers. As I increased the speed and took it to multiple passes on a few different tries, I finally was able to pull it apart. Okay, that was pretty impressive. I would say we cut through about 97 to 98% of this pine two by four, and this is 36.6 millimeters thick. x claims that you can cut through 20 millimeters of pine board with one pass. And keep in mind, this is 16 more millimeters thick than 20 millimeters. I ran this at seven passes because I started seeing some embers and I shut it down. This is crazy, stupid, powerful for what it is. If I had my compressor hooked up to this, I guarantee you I would have cut through this. My pride won't let me move on. We are going to cut through this and I think the extra PSI is going to help me. If my calculations are correct, this is a little over four PSI and now we are running 40 PSI. Wow, guys, we had a clean cut at three passes with the upgraded air assist. However, I had five passes turned on in creative space and you can see the charring that has happened inside the two by four. And that is my fault for leaving it at that many passes. This far exceeds my expectations because you can see the one pass results on 18 millimeter and 20 millimeter pine board. This is 36.6 millimeters thick. So now I do not recommend trying to cut through large materials like two by fours with this laser. This is simply shown to demonstrate the full power of the 40 watts so you can respect its capabilities. These were some impressive first tests, but let's get to the most important part of this video, the benefits and disadvantages that I see with the 40 watt diode. Potential benefits to consider. Number one, obviously the work and efficiency. Being able to run this at high speeds and high power allows me to complete projects a lot faster than my 10 and 20 watt diode lasers. If you are constantly running projects that require a ton of cutting, then you aren't going to beat this machine in terms of efficiency. Number two, the key features of this machine. I really find this interesting. The air assist is built right into the top of the laser module. It's convenient and provides the best heat dissipation possible, which makes the cuts and engravings so much cleaner. The magnetic removable shield is also nice when you need to swap it out fast. I know these are small things, but these make my life so much easier. Number three, it's designed to be a high production workhorse. If you are doing bulk cutting projects, well, this one's gonna be hard to beat. There are a few more things I like, but you get the picture here. Let's talk about the potential disadvantages to consider. Number one, the 40 watt is a standalone unit, meaning to use it, you will need to retrofit it with a prior x laser frame or bundle it together with a 10 or 20 watt laser bundle that comes with a frame. I do expect x to give us some options in the future to get just the 40 watt and the frame together, but for now, you'll have to bundle it. So just be aware if you do not already own a laser from x -Tool. Number two, the price, it is $1,000. By the time you add the frame and accessories, you are coming closely behind the price of a budget CO2 laser. Now, a CO2 laser may or may not serve your needs better because both will have their trade-offs, such as size and engraving space, but it is definitely something to consider before you make an investment level purchase like this. Number three, needed upgrades. You most definitely need a honeycomb grid for cutting and an air assist. These are things you should really have anyway, but just know you do not need to run the 40 watt diode laser without these two items. I even suggest skipping x air assist and going with a larger silent compressor setup with a regulator. Side note, I do recommend California Air or Fortress Air Compressors if you do get one. The added PSI that comes from running a larger compressor will work wonders when you are cutting through material big or small. With all that being said, here are my final thoughts. Given the test that I ran, I believe the 40 watt module from x is a worthy upgrade for people who need cutting and engraving efficiency and power to cut through larger or dense material. And I still don't recommend cutting two by fours, by the way. 
If you are making a lot of orders and are tackling bigger jobs, the performance value is there with the 40 watt. It's like the Ferrari of laser diodes, I guess, and it performs extremely well. Now, if you are just a casual user and need the best bang for the buck, the 20 watt is still the sweet spot for a lot of people, and it is my personal favorite. Since Extol is offering discounts on bundles right now, you can add the 40 watt module with the 10 or 20 watt and get the best of both worlds if you have the budget for that. If you are thinking about pulling the trigger on one of these, I have a discount code for $100 off the D1 Pro and M1 bundles through March 4th, 2023. You have to use my special link in the description below in the promo code that's coming across your screen right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and more importantly, it helps you make an educated decision whether you should or should not invest into one of these units. You will find the links to this below and any laser purchase through the links will help support my channel at no extra cost to you. I appreciate your support and I will see you in the next video. Take care.